everybody, and welcome back to some more Planetary with Janky Nick. Hey! Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Oh. I want to build some rockets, Isaac. Ooh. I want to build some rockets, man. That's what it's all about, right? It is what it's all about. We kind of, we've taken a bit of a, a detour, right, down the death generator highway. Yeah. And we need to kind of steer back onto the M62, Nick, you know, to get us to, exactly. to space. Now, before we get into yeah. any of that, Nick, we have had a little bit of a renovation done. Yes, we have. So between episodes, I purchased, I think, just shy of 3,000 blocks from the shop, costing me about $6,000 oh, wow. in total, Nick. I got my chisel out and I went to work, man. You know, I got some work done. You really have. We've got these lovely marble walls, this new slate brick floor. I even crafted up some of these new inverted blue lamps. One issue we did run into, Nick, is that um, I've had to move the windmills temporarily. Yes. Uh, they were a little lower down, now they're a little higher up. And you'll notice that uh, despite this uh, lovely, new, clean, symmetrical, you know, modern design that we have for our base, this aluminum wire is uh, is is quite the eyes on Nick. You know, it, it zigs, it zags. I mean, and it, it's part it's, of the character, mm, man. For me, at well, least. Well, <laughs> I hope you're not too invested in the in the character right. because one of my plans for today is to uh, is to abolish remove it. Yeah. So while I work on that, Nick, what are you working on in today's episode? I'm going to start with this space garbage isaac i need a telescope like that's not even i want to go to space i don't want to look at it did you uh did you ever have a telescope as a kid i mean obviously not like a industrial grade you know can see dust on the rings of saturn kind of telescope yeah. but <laughs> i didn't like... have an observatory as a kid <laughs> <laughs> i can't confirm um i think what you're getting mixed up there with isaac is actually an observatory <laughs> and not just a telescope you know like the i don't know how um good those telescopes are that are like made for children right no neither because i didn't own one and i'm assuming you didn't either i didn't no oh uh, yeah maybe we should co-invest in one just to see what it was like <laughs> in a children's telescope, children's telescope. <laughs> <laughs> bring it this is for science guys uh, this is for science i imagine it's like a 1.0001 magnification on the moon is what you get yeah, you know? it's just a bit it's actually bigger but it's blurry it's pixelated <laughs> <laughs> can't oh, actually it's... see it <laughs> it's like uh, an optical zoom it's not like yeah oh, oh man. it's just huge but it's just you know, <laughs> eight by eight looks but the minecraft moon here looks better that's what i heard isaac oh uh, it's like those um those like fake mirrors that make you look wider at the bottom or something yeah and... <laughs> exactly what are the yeah these distorting ones <laughs> yeah exactly just the moon maybe maybe i imagine like the kids telescopes actually does not have any optics whatsoever and it just shows them a picture of a really <laughs> large moon no <laughs> they're like, looking at the stars it, like god the all these stars look really similar what's going on there <laughs> <laughs> pointed towards the sun. <laughs> like, oh, we must be having a uh, we must be having an eclipse. <laughs> oh, oh, I love it. If you uh, if you owned a telescope as a child, please let us know yeah. how good it was and if everything looked the same. Uh, as well. <laughs> how blurry was the moon on a exactly. scale of, uh, of one to ten? Exactly. Let, us, let us know, please. <laughs> Please. Uh, send us a, a, a letter. Send us a postcard. Yeah, please. From well, the moon. From the moon. Preferably. Can you imagine? Oh, I wish, man. It's weird because you can like, you can buy, so for like people's birthdays and stuff, you can like buy them a star, right? Yeah. Yeah. What do you I think about that? imagine that those companies are just a scam. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Space Council <laughs> doesn't approve... <laughs> sale of their property <laughs> someone gets a letter in the post it's litigation <laughs> from you know like e7 300 <laughs> saying that you can't buy us please stop to <laughs> from all its native residents <laughs> that sounds like the start of a really bad movie yeah like the aliens get a hold of a copy of like a, a yeah, document saying got, like, they're owned Adam by Sandler someone else <laughs> and he like just buys his girlfriend to start <laughs> gets a letter in the post <laughs> and then like earth gets like taken over right has to battle the aliens exactly but it's all like litigation like they can't it's not violent it's just uh, the, our lawyers versus the space lawyers <laughs> <laughs> on, on like moon court 
<laughs> I reckon I reckon it would. I'm giving some serious ideas away here, man. I mean, here's up, uh, Adam, if you're watching. You know, we... Uh, we're open to a revenue sharing agreement on this uh, on this deal. If yeah, you Adam, are. please so, I mean, look here. It is Isaac. This is the telescope I owned as a child. It's oh huge. It's the biggest goodness. thing I've ever owned. <laughs> look at that. Jeez. I mean, they, they definitely spent all the material cost on just the exterior. Like, oh my <laughs> look at the Christ. size of that thing. Hold on, is it like smaller when you actually put it down? I think it's. It's bigger. exactly the same size. I no, think. I think it's. I think it's bigger when it's dropped. It gets bigger. Oh my it's, god! It's, it's, it it's, gets a, it's a Minecraft first. Everyone, welcome <laughs> to the Minecraft first. I love how you hold it by one of its legs. Yeah, like your abs. You've got some serious wrist uh, strength. Then again, Nick, we are kind of you know a futuristic company here at uh, Gok and Jank, you know, Incorporated LLC. Maybe we just finally managed to mass manufacture like carbon fiber, and that's what we've made that out yeah. of. It's like super light. Super efficient. I was wondering if I could put this in size and if it would work. <laughs> you see a picture of the moon. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if it will. It might, man. It's got your name on it. How do these work? So it says battery slot, place battery here. So I think you actually have to craft some kind of, of battery and then put that right. battery in there. From planet progression, maybe. Maybe. There's one from uh, Extra Planets. That one, like... Yeah, you can make a massive battery, <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Hey, nice you can't craft that though, unfortunately. You can only craft the advanced battery. No. Okay. But yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it'll take any kind of like, you know, maybe you could even put like a flux capacitor in there. You just hold anything that can take power. Yeah. There is a Galacticraft battery that's qu like quite easy to make. Well, I have just made an energetic infuser, so you can charge like any item that you want. Any uh, battery. Okay, right. Let's want. have a look. I'll make this Galacticraft one. Um, because it's easy. It's just some compressed tin, some redstone and coal. And we'll see we'll see if we can we can use it inside. Yeah. That would be oh, that would be quite something. And I would be uh, that'd be, that'd be I'd be great. very happy, Nick, if that was the case. Are you a, are you a, an active dreamer, Nick? Do you dream like most nights? No, I don't. I'm a very inactive dreamer. I always have been. I do dream. And sometimes I have had very, very vivid dreams. But yeah, and then usually I forget my dreams. Like I'm one of those where it's just most days I just completely forget. Like what's going on? Like, you know, <laughs> in, in, the, in the in the night as well as the day, <laughs> obviously. Right, of course. I'm in the same boat, man. I also don't uh, really dream all that often. Or if I do dream, I don't remember my dreams come come morning. It's right. it's weird because I well, I used to suffer quite badly from insomnia, uh, where I can actually. It took a, a long time. It still does um, to to actually fall asleep. So I think maybe I was so kind of like knackered when I actually fell asleep. I just didn't dream or completely forgot them. <laughs> I thought you were going to say forgot to dream. Yeah, I forgot. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I forgot to dream. I used all the brain energy trying to sleep instead by like counting sheep and, you know, thinking about Elon Musk and, you know, space rabbits. Okay, so like this is a, this is a common thing that people do. Do you do that? Do you count sheep? No, I've tried to. When I was younger, I tried to. But guys, it's... It doesn't work. <laughs> right. It doesn't work you're, for me anyway. You're here today to, to definitively to, to tell say you definitively it does not work. And it's a stupid idea because all you do <laughs> is actually use your brain anyway. <laughs> um, right. Nick, I'm in the same boat. I also do not uh, do not find Oh nice, you got the uh advanced crafting table. Yeah. But I do not find usefulness in uh, in counting, in you know, counting sheep, sheep. Or, or, like, or anything. Like why sheep as well? Like what they, why are they flying as well? Are they, oh, I mean, I guess it's, it depends. Like, it's up to you to make them fly, right? right. Like they don't, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they flying? Why are they flying? <laughs> Why do the dream police insist on making these sheep fly? Well, it's, it's, not, it's not scientifically correct. <laughs> and you actually end up losing sleep on the fact that they're not, it's not, it's, it's not biologically possible. <laughs> You're trying to examine them, trying to figure yeah, out how they like, fly. What the hell? Why are these sheep flying? Please. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I also don't know why that's the the, the recommended yeah. If you count method. sheep, we need a poll, Isaac. You and your bloody polls, man. I love them. <laughs> I love these polls. People are going to start to think, Nick, that we're working with like Facebook to extract as much information <laughs> yeah. as possible. You <laughs> went for a data analytics company. <laughs> <laughs> we're selling your dream info to, to Dream Inc. Yeah, LLC I, I so they can for, develop um, dream tech. You know... <laughs> Bainbridge Analytica, right? <laughs> <laughs> this, this random, random analyst company. You don't need to worry about them. They're, they're harmless. Oh, man. Yeah, people, you know, there's too many polls, man. What do you want the poll to say? Do your, do your sheep 
fly or do you, do you know yeah do you count sheep is what i want to know but what if somebody is watching who are uh, like whose job it is to count sheep like in, do you, are you wanting specifically sleep sheep sleep or sheep so i want any sleep sheep, sheep. At all? yeah 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 i want um no i don't count sheep Yes, I do count sheep, and they're not flying. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yes, I do count sheep, and they are flying. And then finally, I want, yes, I do count sheep, and they are flying. But why are they flying? I don't know. <laughs> I can't help it. Such specific <laughs> poll questions. Uh. Oh, oh man. man. Do you want a separate poll entirely for people to tell us their occupation? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yes, my job is counting sheep. <laughs> no, my job is not to count sheep. Yes, and, my job is sheep. Oh my related. God, my sheep are flying. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> uh, uh, quick, quick, quick cue, real quick. Yeah. Nick, um, we mentioned before your uh, kind of propensity to place blocks in quite possibly the most inefficient way possible. Like you've moved <laughs> the latex processing unit so far away to run cable over to it. You have placed the advanced crafting table as far away from our storage request tables. It is as quite is far away from the, from the storage request table. But on the bright side, <laughs> next to the compressor, no which reason, can't be moved. Though, like, um, it can't be moved. Can't, can't be moved. Power. <laughs> and, um, you know, at least it's you know, advantageous it. in that fact. Yeah, okay. <laughs> move, move that over. Can we not install? No, we can't install it into this uh, into this uh, storage request system, can we? It's kind of like a... I have to put them all in myself. And, yeah. um, you know, Isaac, that's... <laughs> it's just, kind of annoying, I, isn't it? I think you just enjoy the the walk, you know, from point <laughs> A do. to point B. I've got my, I've got, I've got a Fitbit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, uh, you know, uh, counting steps. Count my steps, to get. <laughs> man. Count my steps. Oh, um, okay. So yeah, if you look, we've got this uh, these dragon craft. So if you look at the quest, uh, the quest book. In I see it. Yes. Chapter three. You need to make the Falcon Craft nine. Booster. Se booster, second stage, tr uh, the trunk, the dragon craft trunk, and the dragon craft capsule. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. If you have a look at the recipes for them, you need a load of compressed aluminium, which is fine. You need, obviously, the schematics, which we acquired earlier, which is fine. You need these things, like an RP1 tank, and that needs a high pressure valve and a freaking car engine, ambient thermal controller, and that needs a you know, ox there's a load of compression involved, Isaac. Like, almost an incredibly annoying amount of compression. You need display screen and, like, yeah. wafers. Like, who do you think I am? Intel? I don't fabricate wafers. What you've got to remember, Nick, is that sometimes compression is good, you know? That's true. We're, we're using compression right now for the, the, the viewers of this YouTube video, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, without compression, they would, be, uh, they would be incredibly unhappy at how much buffering was going on for this, uh, this, video. this simple little YouTube video. And so... I think what you got to you got to change your mindset. I'm, I'm opening a new workshop, Nick, that you can uh, you can join on weekday nights. Okay. Uh, at thirty nine ninety nine per session. Okay. Learning to love compression oh. with Isaac. I'll join it. I'll join it. <laughs> it makes me wonder, you know, actually, you know how how you're crazy and you watch videos faster than on YouTube. I'm aware. But, like if people have really bad internet connections, like they're gonna like, like they have to buffer. They there's gonna be buffering quicker. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's true. Yeah. You like, especially if you're trying to like 1.5x some 4K content, like yeah. that definitely starts to, you know, I, I hear my graphics card like whirring, like, up. whirring yeah. up. Its fan gets like, it's like, yo, what the hell, man? What are you trying to do here? It's bro? like knock, you're a knocking sound from inside your computer. It's the like, graphics card like, knocking on the case. Be like, what the hell, man? <laughs> what, what are you the doing? Heck? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean that's fair. But enough. it's worth it, right, for the for the efficiency, exactly, the time saved. Exactly. I want to test something, right? Because right now, if we put it into the furnace over here, it doubles. Right. What if we pulverize the aluminum ore into two aluminum dust and then put it in the furnace? Do we get four? Like, do we get two more from the gold furnace? Uh, yeah. Let's 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 give it a go. Um, because we need a lot of this stuff, so kind of as much as we can get, really. Here we go. So does that give us double? Oh. I don't think it did. Right. Uh, one more is about to be smelted. Yeah, no, you only get one per right. per craft there, unfortunately. So I just, I'll just put it all in the uh, in the gold furnace. Before you do though, Nick, 
Oh yeah. Let's upgrade it, man. Okay. Are we making this by are we making this baby faster? We're making this bad boy as fast. Well, maybe we'll see how fast we can go. So okay. there are. There's a one update that takes it to a diamond tier, Nick, which is just four diamonds, which at this point is Bush League, right? Then we yes, can upgrade exactly. it even further straight to Emerald, which I'm going to do because that's four Emeralds. Now, the next tier is Endis, which is eight Ender Pearls. And honestly, Nick, that's not even a, a difficult thing for us. We've got like a thousand Ender Pearls. Now, the highest tier requires a Nether Star, four Blaze Rods, and four Netherrack. Right. Do we have a Nether Star? Um, we don't. No. But we do have eight Wither Skulls and Skulls. Right, so we can do the age-old try and fight him, maybe win. Do you think we could kill a, a, a wither? Well, the thing is, I think about our dungeon experience, right? And it's it like we're quite good, especially if we have you know rainbow drinks. Right. Oh yeah, that's a fair point actually. And I yeah. have like a, a giga sword, right? Yeah, I've got it on me actually. Um, if you want it back, uh, there you go. I mean, do you want to give it a uh, well? Mm, Follow up question: Blaze rods. We can buy blaze. Oh no, we can craft blaze rods with hellish matter. One, right. two, three. Okay. Nick, I have four blaze rods. Okay. Nick, let's do it. Where do you want to spawn this guy in? I want to. I want to go to a dungeon that we've conquered and maybe spawn ah, okay. him in there. Sure. Yeah. Uh, do you have two diamond swords on you by any chance? Then. Uh, I do. I've got my. I've given you yours, ah, and then I've yes, got my have. own. Um, I'm gonna buy like a couple of these rainbow drinks. I have a super energy drink on me. Lovely. Okay. Um, and then I guess I'll just dump my inventory and then wear a helmet of some sort because my, I don't know where my, um, my criminal helmet's gone, but it's gone. <laughs> right. I'm, Nick, I'm not going to lie. I'm quite happy about this, uh, about this, uh, this what? turn of events. <laughs> uh, okay. What have we been, uh, what have we been eating up until now? Have we been eating anything at all? I guess just, oh, we've been eating the, the food supplies, right? The rations. I've been eating cheeseburgers recently, but I do have some emergency rations. Um, I believe I can buy them from the store. I can. Yeah, you can. You can. I'm just looking for like the best helmet I can find. I've got a decent one. Don't forget, you can put the, the food in your like food slot and it'll auto feed you. Oh, uh, maybe that's what was happening kind of all this time. Because I've only started getting hungry recently. Yeah, you've so probably I had like a bunch of rations. It, yeah, the reason it kind took of so long up. is, yeah. Yeah. Oh, helmet. All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna teleport to, like, let's go. Where do you want to go? Scientist, space, cyber, military, or android lab? I feel like scientist was quite tame. I know that it's all kind of shut down. Um, but yeah, hello, hello, um, welcome. So you want to fight him like down, down under, down here, yeah, so that the destruction won't really affect us, right? Okay. Like he can like blow this place to smithereens and we'll be fine. And it's this is kind of decently lit too. Yeah. Um, is that like how the kids say it? Like it's decently lit? It's decently, it's, this is going to be lit. It's decently <laughs> lit in here. Oh, I fell in a hole. Um, okay, I'm going to drink this. So this gives us three oh, minutes. Oh, I've also fallen in a hole. From the point of drinking. Oh yeah, I will also drink. And at least it makes everything bright too. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, there's a hole. He's quite high. Oh, he is, isn't he? I don't know... Let me... Oh, he's, very, he's quite weak though. Like our, our swords are quite good. Oh yeah, you're doing you're doing what? It's just getting to him because he's quite he's quite yeah, just kind of jumping. He's quite high. Yeah, you kind of can get to him a bit by jumping, can't you? Yeah. Oh, there's a creeper here as well. Watch out! Don't aim! No, don't aim! Don't blow the, 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 the... Oh, okay. I've got it! I've got it! Nice. I've got it! I got it! I got it! Oh. I saw the creeper coming in, Nick. I was and just he was ready to picture. blow. He's I ready to blow. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! It was going to be a repeat of every dungeon uh, we've done. Of all our dungeon experiences. That was see. That was totally fine. Ow! It was. I don't know if we have the mod installed that makes like the, there's a mod that some mod packs have that makes each consecutive wither more difficult to fight. Oh right. So there's potential. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we have that installed, but uh, if you want to drop that in the uh, in the system, Nick, back at yeah. uh, back at home, I can make what is known as the Zenith Furnace, Nick. So Lovely. if you type in furnace into JEI, you'll see that there is the iron, the gold, the diamond, the emerald, the endist, and the zenith. Oh yeah, it's got a cook time of one. If that means one tick, it does. Oh, so, <laughs> oh my <laughs> right god! Right now. With our gold furnace, we were cooking one item every two seconds. 130 right. ticks, just over. This is now going to cook 20 items per second. Oh my god, that's insane. And can we put the ore doubling upgrade in it? We can. Yeah, oh. of course. What the hell? I know. That's insane. <laughs> it's brilliant. 
Here we go. Boom. Boom. All right. And we got like a fuel efficiency upgrade. Like, they're all lovely. Kind of okay. Oh. Oh. Almost. <laughs> so before you uh, put anything in there, let me go grab the uh, all doubling upgrade. Yes. There are other upgrades. We can make it like use redstone flux if we want. Sure. Sure. Some fuel as well would. Um, I wonder how it how much it chews through it. Like, does it chew through it at the rate? At which, uh, uh, like, on the, like, does it, it have a burn time or does it actually scale with how fast it is, right? Give it a go, man. Right, here we go. Uh, I, I put the aluminium in the system, I think. Here we go. Are we both invisible? We're both invisible. I okay, think we brilliant. are, yeah. Okay, I've got the aluminium. Here we go. Moment of truth. Look at that. Oh look my at that. god. And it's bird time as well. Oh yeah, look oh, at that. It's Such beautiful. coal efficiency. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Will that take like five minutes? To, it was so to, fast to on my screen that occasionally it would have 65 aluminum in this right hand wow. slot. Wow. Like That's it was amazing. Overloading it. Oh man. Look at that, Nick. Oh, Such wow. an easy weather fight. And then a yeah, lovely ultra fast furnace. Oh. One thing I was talking to uh, the Twitch chat about the other day oh, yeah. is freaking, have you seen ostrich eggs? Probably. They, are they, aren't they they huge? They are massive. Yeah. I'm going to have a look real quick because I, I forget the scale. Ostrich eggs. They are absolute. I think they're like 22 or something oh normal chicken God. eggs in, in size. Good, you can't have that in a premiere in breakfast. <laughs> <can you>? <laughs> <laughs> like... Ooh. They are actually gigantic. Like God, it, I really want to scramble one. Look at this. I'm going to send you a, a thing in Discord. Okay. Look at this image. Look at the yolk size on that freaking oh, it's egg. Unreal. It is so. And the thing is, like, I watched a video about it. Right, a video of a guy who had a, an ostrich egg. Yeah. And like he cracked it open into. He had a pretty big bowl, but the, 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 there was so much white that it overflowed like out of this oh, massive man. bowl that he had, and. I don't know if I... They look quite appetizing there. They're like big chicken eggs. But when he uh, when they, he actually like cooked it, because they did... They fried it. They made like a big old right. cooked egg. But like the, the, the yolk is like really thick. Like a Ooh. lot thicker than a chicken egg. Right. And like apparently it tastes quite, you know, but it doesn't taste quite like a chicken egg. And yeah. It tastes a little bit kind of off. Like a bit. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to try one just for the, just for the, just, just to for the do same. it, right? I want to boil one, right? And they have like a specially designed, like comically large boiled egg cup <laughs> just to hold the ostrich egg. <laughs> that would be, uh, I'd be into that, man. I'd be really into that. It oh. is just, they're so big. I was like, what in the world? That's such yeah, a massive geez. egg. Oh my That's goodness. Great. Would you want an ostrich just for the ability just to get the eggs. huge eggs? Yeah, I'd, I'd contact Happy Eggs and ask if they, <laughs> they want to expand their product range. <laughs> oh, uh, man. That would be amazing. Because <laughs> ostriches are just comic. I think they look hilarious too. <laughs> they do look pretty silly. Why have you seen those guys? God, look at, the, look at that neck. Look at their faces. Yeah, they look, they look bizarre, <laughs> man, don't they? They're so big as well. Oh, they're, like, they're quite dangerous, aren't they? Like, they... Uh, you're not supposed to, you're not you know, supposed be to, like, around you know, them. Take the, like, you start insulting one. <laughs> not supposed to take their eggs, I don't reckon. Yeah, like. I can't imagine that would end very well. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, they run fast. Yeah, I feel like you might be right. Ostrich max speed. Max speeds, top speeds. 70 kilometers an hour. Jeez. Maximum adult running speed. Oh you are not God. outrunning an ostrich. Like, you take that egg and then suddenly that, like, you look around, you know, you, you creep up to a nest, you look around, there's nothing to, to see as far as the eye can see. You pick up an egg and then suddenly you just hear this rumbling. You yeah. look over and there's just, there's an just a she's like in the horizon. at you at 70 like kilometers an hour. In the distance. <laughs> Coming out serious KPH, <laughs> doing whatever the sound, whatever whatever ostrich sounds they do. Like, <laughs> You're like, oh god! Oh please. man! No! Please. It's the top land speed of any bird. <laughs> Jeez, that's incredible! Oh man! If you uh, if you have access to an ostrich, hit us up. We'll come and see it. Yeah, <laughs> but please don't. Please make sure its eggs are intact. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's insane. That's madness. Would you want one, Nick? Yeah, I feel like I would now, Isaac. <laughs> I feel like I would. Now you know the, the you know the eggs you can get, really, exactly. right? Like, yeah. Oh. Who wouldn't want one, man? That's 45 miles an hour, Nick. 
<laughs> this is how fast that thing can run. 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Bloody hell. Imagine getting hit by an ostrich. <laughs> I know, Get right? hit by a car yeah. at 45 miles an hour is bad enough. But if you get hit by a long, weird thing with a weird peak. <laughs> God. I want to look. Can you ride them? <laughs> like, what's the... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be interested to know. Uh... You know, just... Uh... Trotting along down the down, down your local exactly. road, just uh, you know. <laughs> an ostrich going at forty five. <laughs> hope it's got brake lights. <laughs> You've like hung a license plate to the back of it, you know, through, da- through and the front dangling off its neck. <laughs> You've got like that little tax <laughs> disc attached yeah. to it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's run legal, guys. Uh, they probably do some good MPG as well, man. <laughs> 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 Why are we using cars when we can use ostriches? <laughs> uh, what do ostriches eat, man? Yeah, what do they eat? What, what like just is it like like grains and stuff like that? Ostriches eat. Their diet consists mainly of root, leaves, and seeds. But ostriches eat whatever is available. <laughs> 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 Sounds like me. <laughs> Sometimes they consume insects, snakes, lizards, and rodents. Snakes? Yeah. <laughs> These guys are OP. What the hell? Hold up. They also swallow sand and pebbles, which help them grind up food in their gizzard. Jeez. <laughs> which These is a specialized crazy. muscular stomach. <laughs> oh, man. Just crunching down on some sand to help with my digestion. That's me- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was how it works, to be honest. Oh, oh man. Why have we been over like underappreciating ostriches, ostriches all this they're, time? They're man? mad. <laughs> they're actually, they're actually the, mad. The, 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 the fing aliens is what they are. <laughs> they are. Like, what Maybe the they're world? the ones that are litigating us. <laughs> <laughs> they actually come from like some distant far away freaking planet. They're here to eat sand <laughs> to improve their digestion. <laughs> Uh, and snakes. <laughs> what? Snakes. They're poor teeth. Oh man. I don't even know if they have them, but you know. They don't look like they have teeth, but no, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm that's why it's fine. <laughs> oh man. They just eat it like a noodle. They just yeah. <laughs> snakes. Slurp it. <laughs> they had two ostriches both <laughs> slapping on one snake. <laughs> Getting closer and closer to each other's gizzards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man jeez <laughs> that's amazing oh, oh who knew man who they, knew? Lived for, they lived for 40 they li- years 40 years <laughs> 40 years god there's ostriches here that are always twice the age that we are 2.1 to 2.8 meters tall 120 kilograms god these guys have some serious stats don't they <laughs> they, they do man yeah they're absolutely mad god they're huge 2.8 meters. Up to, yeah, with males. Towering over you. In fairness, like a lot of that height is just like neck, isn't it? They've got yeah. those long, they've yeah, got long legs and long necks. And then like, yeah. How are you doing on this uh, Falcon Craft 9 booster, Nick? It's, um, so right now I just need to make, here we go, I'll make those plates. So if you have a look at the recipe, the landing legs are done. And obviously the, and that's it, really. The aluminium's there, the, the schematic's there. I'm currently working on the grids fins, which is what I need the compressed steel for. Right, I see. You've not made the uh, Merlin 1D engine or the RP1. No, I've not made those, the, the awful things, basically. Right. <laughs> um, yes. Because they are awful. Yeah, I see I see where you're coming from. Yeah. They don't look too bad, honestly. If I'm being totally honest, they don't look too bad. Right. All right. Nick... I think what we should do is mm-hmm. between episodes we should do a lot of this like micro crafting yeah, that needs it's to be done. Yeah, it's a lot done. of tedious stuff, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, next episode we can come back, we can throw all of the parts together, you know, like all of yeah, the Yeah, and have a, a fully fledged you know, display kind of, screens and yeah, yeah, rocket system going. I like it. I like because, it. Because uh, once we have that, we need to make an oxygen loader. That's really the only thing I've not made. And then in chapter 4 we kind of have to, you know, begin taking oxygen out of the atmosphere and pumping it both into the rocket and into uh, preferably some oxygen tanks so that when we leave the earth you know we can also breathe uh, in outer space and whatnot but i think we're pretty close to our first excursion mm. into space and i think mars might be the first one we go to by the oh, okay of it. nice given that chapter um, five is is mars or sure, i guess we could also sure. maybe look at the moon i'm not quite sure what 
planets or you know solar bodies are, are available, available to us. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a long yeah. while. Yeah, but for now, I think we made some good progress today. Nick. We didn't get an A2 system. Uh, let us know in the comments if we can actually do that. And we've mm -hmm. just been fools. Uh, we do have a, a lovely new uh, upper level lick that we didn't we utilize did. at all in today's episode. No. Um, <laughs> that was I was hoping fine. to put. I was hoping to put like some of our new ME terminals up here to kind of move us up. You know, because we're always yeah. going to congregate where our storage is. Exactly, and yeah. Right now, our storage is downstairs, but we could move some machines up here, Nick. We could move our terminals up here and use this as kind of like a, a nice place to be. It kind of puts us in a bit of a weird position for our death generator, because yeah, we were going to use AE2 to automate the crafting of polymer clay, uh, which would then allow us to automate the uh, you know getting of overworlding mm -hmm. matter and pristine zombie matter, which would then allow us to use our death generator. Right now, our death generator, Nick, the poor guy, he's kind of just sitting in here, you know, not yeah, producing not, any death. He's not, he's not consuming any death. Yeah, no death emissions are, are over here, Nick. You know, he's just chilling out. He's there. Maybe that's why he looks so kind of you know stum, Isaac, <laughs> <laughs> so flat faced. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine though having lips that were like as wide as you, as deep as your eyes? Like they're so wide. Yeah, those are some voluptuous lips right there. Nick. They you know, are. He's, oh, you know, oh, he's uh, so getting Get out of there, Isaac! Before you know, if you get too, too, yeah. one over by his lips. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but for now, as always, if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more in the future, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new here to get notified as soon as new videos go out. As always, thank you for watching. Let us know if you have an ostrich. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.